Okay, hi. Um, I'm Sling, and this is my partner Zhuo. We're gonna talk about the issue of the job hunting uh, with the applicant uh, application of the game theory. In the job hunting pr procedure, because of the incomplete information, ironically, the human resource of the company needs to conduct a game with the applicant. Those. Uh, because of the constantly changing environment, it results in an even, even more complicated job handling procedure to leave the HR and deeply impression of outstanding candidate. The applicant need to try best to present his capability in all fields to win this position by constructing an excellent figure. However, during this process, many applicants might risk to cheat to the HR for more chance to be hired, such as making some fake documents or certification or just a lie to the HR, so that the HR needs to identify whether the information the applicant provide with them is true or not, rather than just judge if the applicant are competent enough. To ensure the efficiency and credibility of this interview and get the best people they need, the job recruitment and interview are basically a game between the applicant and the HR of the company. Out of, the, uh, out of everybody's expectation, the game comes up to be a, uh, have a very bad result. It turns out to make both the applicant and the HR into the dilemma game. As we mentioned above, the recruitment is a game for the human resource management. This game behavior consists of two factors as below. Uh, as you can see, there are two players here. One is applicant and in, the other is the HR of the company. For the applicant, he can choose to cheat to the HR or not to cheat. And for the company, he can also choose to believe in what the applicant say or not to believe. And uh, in this table, obviously the Nash equilibrium is uh, is a CB that means for the applicant whenever choose uh, whether the company choose to believe or not to believe him. The best payoff is uh, is to get the best payoff. He need to choose to cheat. And uh, for the company, whether the applicant choose cheat or not to cheat, um, he better choose not to believe. So we can we can tell that. Uh, this result turned out to be very ironic, and uh, uh, we can see from the non normal form game, cheating is a dominant strategy for the applicant, given any strategy applied by the HR, as we mentioned. Although this uh, this is not a parallel to optimal, because if the applicant chooses not to cheat and HR chooses to believe, both the players would be better off like this. Um, as for the company, choose, choosing not to believe would bring in the risk of losing more competent applicants. In the long run, uh, in the long run this situation would jeopardize the company's future. And then we uh, will talk about uh, the dynamic model, and the Joe will introduce about that. Yeah, we assume that after lots of interviews, uh, the applicants find out that the company tend not to believe. So for the applicant in this case, cheating undoubtedly will be better off. Then therefore, in the long run, um, the Nash equilibrium will still be cheat and not to believe too. This will make the company has a higher and higher probability not to believe, which will become a bad cycle. The trust between the company and the applicants tend to be less and less. So what could we do to change this situation? We hope to see that the applicant tends not, uh, tend to choose not to cheat and the company prefer to believe in the applicants. Then we could reach a ring-ring situation. That is to say, if natural equilibrium is changed to be not to cheat and to believe, this would be the best case. To do that, we have to change the payoff of cheating, such as we change the payoff to the strategy cheat and to believe from 10 to 4, less than 5. And then when we can see if the company believes that the applicants actually cheat, the payoff will not be better than that of the case of not to cheat. 
However, can we achieve this change? We discuss it specifically later. At the same time, we change the payoff of Qi Tian not to believe from 0 to minus 3, which is less than minus 2. This means when the company chooses not to believe, not to cheat is still better than cheat. Then we can build up an efficient mechanism to stop cheating, which is beneficial to the company because whether to believe in the applicants is based on the payoff from of the former games with the others. Now next scene will introduce how the mechanism works. Yeah, and uh, here we can see we can also choose to change the the payoff when the applicant choose to not choose not to cheat and uh, uh, the company choose not to believe. And uh, um, we, uh, we can see here we change the payoff from uh, a change the payoff minus two to one, and uh, that make uh, that will also make the N C and B and Nash equilibrium. Uh, for example, we may uh, design a mechanism make some the competence test for the new recruits. If one was to cheat in the former interview, it is likely that he would have a relative lower score in this test. Then there is a big chance that the employees would be uh, fired. In this mechanism, we lower the payoff of the cheating by adding more risk of being fired like this, uh, changing it from, the, from 10 to 4. And uh, the other method uh, give the company choose not to believe is to increase the payoff of the applicant who choose not to cheat in the interview, as we uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, we will conduct a further investigation on the credibility of the information the applicants uh, provided. For the applicant who does not cheat, there's going to be more chance to get another interview and get a better chance to be hired. In this case, the payoff change minus two to one, and the Nash equilibrium becomes N C and B. So that would be uh, so. Th um, in this case, this strategy will become the dominant strategy, and uh, we can achieve a win-win situation. And the N E becomes to the Pareto optimal. So there are some conclusions what we uh, we have. First, the companies build up some mechanism to restrict the cheating behaviors, such as a probation period or new entry test. If the test is um, efficient enough and uh, punishment of cheating is severe enough, then for the uh, applicants not to cheat is a, punish, uh, is a better strategy. If the, the efficiency of the test is not enough and the punishment is not severe enough too, while the uh, the payoff of the cheating is high enough, they would choose to cheat. So, and uh, another point is we would conduct more interviews or tests before actually hiring the applicant. In this way, we would get a comprehensive inspection of the applicant's capabilities, such as more tests to hiring experienced conduct uh, experts to conduct conduct the interview. In the reality, the companies are actually uh, apl applying this strategy by uh, conducting three rounds or even four rounds of interviews, such as a competence test, a pressure and resistant test group interview. And third, and the last point, both players would uh, co collaborate and be honest. The applicants should tell the truth and the company should be uh, willing to trust the applicant. So in this case, we will achieve a win-win situation. Thank you.